Phases of the moon Night after night, and sometimes day after day, you'll see the moon take a slightly different shape in the sky. These different shapes are called the phases of the moon, and they change with a regular pattern, over a period of about 30 days. If you have looked into the night sky, you may have noticed the moon appears to change shape each night. Some nights, the moon might look like a narrow crescent. Other nights, the moon might look like a bright circle. And on other nights, you might not be able to see the moon at all. The different shapes of the moon, that we see at different times of the month, are called the phases of the moon. Let's take a look at the individual phases, and how the movements of the moon and sun appear to us, as we watch from the northern hemisphere on Earth. New Moon Waxing Crescent First Quarter Waxing Gibbous Full Moon Waning Gibbous Last Quarter Waning Crescent New Moon This is the invisible phase of the moon, with the illuminated side of the moon facing the sun, and the night side facing Earth. In this phase, the moon is in the same part of the sky as the sun, and rises, and sets with the sun. Not only is the illuminated side facing away from the Earth, it's also up during the day. Waxing Crescent This silver sliver of a moon, occurs when the illuminated half of the moon faces mostly away from Earth, with only a tiny portion visible to us from our planet. It grows daily as the moon's orbit carries the moon's day side farther into view. The term waxing, means the increase in brightness of the moon. The crescent, is the lunar phase that resembles a sickle, a thin, curved shape that's thicker in the middle, and tapers to thin points at each end. In here, less than half the surface of the moon facing you is lit by the sun. First Quarter The moon is now a quarter of the way, through its monthly journey, and you see half of its illuminated side. People may casually call this a half moon, but remember, that's not really what you're witnessing in the sky. You're seeing just a slice of the entire moon, half of the illuminated half. A first quarter moon rises around noon, and sets around midnight. It's high in the sky in the evening, and makes for excellent viewing. Waxing Gibbous Now most of the moon's day side has come into view, and the moon appears brighter in the sky. Gibbous describes a certain phase of the moon, when it's bulging outward but isn't quite full. In here, the moon is convex on both sides, giving it a hump shape. Full Moon this is as close as we come to seeing the sun's illumination of the entire day side of the moon. The moon is opposite the sun, as viewed from Earth, revealing the moon's day side. A full moon rises around sunset, and sets around sunrise. The moon will appear full for a couple of days. Waning Gibbous as the moon begins its journey back toward the sun, the opposite side of the moon now reflects the moon's light. The lighted side appears to shrink, but the moon's orbit is simply carrying it out of view from our perspective. The moon rises later and later each night. Last Quarter The moon looks like it's half illuminated, from the perspective of Earth but really you're seeing half of the half of the moon, that's illuminated by the sun, or a quarter. A last quarter moon, also known as a third quarter moon, rises around midnight and sets around noon.
waning crescent. The moon is nearly back to the point in its orbit where its day side directly faces the sun and all that we see from our perspective is a thin curve. The term waning means the decreasing in brightness of the moon. Now remember, every month the moon goes through its phases, waning and waxing in its constant transformation from new moon to full moon and back again. New moon waxing crescent first quarter waxing gibbous full moon waning gibbous last quarter waning crescent new moon waxing crescent first quarter waxing gibbous full moon waning gibbous last quarter waning crescent